Welcome to day 26. Today we're going to put our two sides of the ward off sequence together into a flow. But before we do that, let's review our form number three, which really reviews brush knee, pheasant stands, and the kicks. So let's do that first. Try to relax your shoulders away from your earlobes, keeping your knees nice and soft as well. Allow yourself to be suspended from the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in. Breathing out, sinking down. And open. Centering yourself. Preparation. Breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you go down. Let's start with Repulse the Monkey. Bring that left hand forward and then bring the right hand up and over, using your rotation to help you with this movement. Bringing that left hand up and over, then the right. then the left. Now I want you to take a nice deep breath in as you hold the ball to the right. Step out, brush knee, left. And breathe out as you do this movement. Then as your weight comes back and you shift to the left, breathe in with that hold the ball. And breathe out as you brush knee right. Let's do that again on both sides. Breathing in as you hold the ball to the right. Step out left and breathe out, brush knee. Then breathing in as you hold the ball left, step out right, brush knee right. Now let's move forward with brush knee. Stepping out left, then rocking back, holding that ball. Remember the hands change position with this brush knee going forward, brush knee. Rocking back, bringing the weight up onto that right, stepping out left, brush knee. And then one more, holding that ball to the left, step out right, brush knee. Keep the weight on that right, and you're going to come into your pheasant stands. Then step backwards, pheasant stands. Step backwards pheasant stands, and one more pheasant stands. Now stepping down, just come into your wave hands like clouds. Nice and simple. Thinking about your breath again. Breathing in as you come across one way. Breathing out as you come across the other way. Now bring in your weight to the right. Lift that left leg and kick. Stepping down left, let the right leg become empty, lift and kick. Then stepping down right, now the left is empty, kick. One more, kicking right. Now stepping down right, hold that ball to the right, step out and brush knee left but then come into your pushing chi. Bringing that weight back to the right and then to the left, holding the ball to the left, step out, brush knee into pushing chi. Now let's think about the breathing again. Step back, holding the ball to the right, take a nice deep breath in, then breathe out as you brush knee. Breathe in as you come towards your body with pushing chi. Breathe out as you push away. As you hold that ball, breathing in, then breathing out as you brush knee. Breathing in as you come towards your body with pushing chi. Breathing out as you push away. Then bring in your feet, just shoulder width apart, weight is even, let's push the mountains. Breathing in, Breathing out, 
breathing in and breathing out. Let's do it one more time. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and close. Good. Remember, it's important to start to think about adding that principle of the breathing. Breathing long and deep and slow and continuous. Remember that it, it coordinates with the movement, that gathering of the energy and then the releasing of the energy. So as you practice this simple form, think about where your breath is and how you're breathing. And then try to slow the form down so that you slow your breathing down as well. So now let's move on to putting the two sides of the ward off sequence together. So let's start by holding the ball to the left and we're going to step out on the diagonal with the right. Remember making that ball small and turning our torso to the right. That's your ward off. Allow those elbows to drop, grasp the bird's tail. Now the weight comes back as you pull that ball to your left hip. Then rotate, rotate and press, and pushing chi. So now to continue on to the left side, what we're going to do is shift our weight back to the left, let that right leg come back, and now shift your weight to the right, holding the ball to the right. Now you're ready to step out on the diagonal with that left foot. Bring that left hand up and ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Bring your weight back as you roll back to that right hip. Then the weight comes a little bit onto the left as you rotate and press. And pushing chi. Good, so let's do that again, holding the ball to the left, step out to the right, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, rotate and press, pushing chi. Now remember, the weight's going to come to the left, we're going to turn our hands just a little bit to the left. Just rotating on that central column. That right leg is now empty. Bring that right leg back. And then shifting the weight to the right, now we can hold the ball to the right. Step out on the diagonal. Ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Roll back. Rotate and press. Pushing chi. Now let's just do it again on the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift our weight to the right, bring our hands over to the right, let that left leg become empty, shift the weight to the left, and hold the ball to the left now. Step out right, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, rotate and press, pushing chi. Bring your weight to the left, bring your hands over to the left, step back with the right, bring the hands down, now the weight comes to the right, holding the ball to the right, step out left, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, rotate and press, pushing chi. Let's do both sides one more time. So bring your weight over. Bring your hands over to the right, weights to the right, step back left, hold the ball to the left, now the weights on the left. Step out right, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, rotate and press, pushing chi. Weight comes to the left, stepping that right foot back. Now the weight comes to the right, holding the ball right, step out left, ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, rotate and press, 
pushing chi. Good, so now that weight shift is very, very important in that ward off sequence to keep the continuous motion going, that feeling of water flowing. We're gonna practice that tomorrow, so we'll not add anything new tomorrow. We will just practice this ward off back and forth and start to talk about that weight shift. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.